Welcome to Psychology Refresh. Today, we're going to go over how to spot each MBTI personality type instantly. Make sure to watch each one and you will know people's type after a few seconds. Each personality type has different body language and communicates in a specific way, and we have described their behavior and communication style in each one of the 16 personality types. Find out what it is and determine how you can use this knowledge in reaching personal growth and self-improvement. Here is how to spot each MBTI personality type instantly. Number 1. ISTJ ISTJs deliberate before speaking. You'll observe that they think silently before speaking. They are focused on ensuring everything is as logical and truthful as possible, which results in their communication being highly sequential and you being able to follow their thought process most of the time. They will speak using a lot of comparative terms like looks like as well as precise information. They can quickly recollect information from the past and draw on their experiences to support their claims. An ISTJ's primary objective when speaking is to convey physical movement. They aren't attempting to command attention. They may even be rather enigmatic because the emotion associated with what they are saying is all experienced inwardly rather than externally. They don't often have strong sentiments about something. They tend to keep most of their emotions and reactions to themselves, thus they may come out as fairly stoic. When asked to talk about their feelings or emotions, ISTJs often feel awkward. They particularly detest being asked to or expected to give an emotional response to something for which they are unprepared. Being put in a position like this stresses them out since they have a tendency to keep their emotions to themselves. Number 2. ISFJ ISFJs pause and consider their words before speaking. They want time to consider the information and have their own views before making a decision, therefore they don't want to be rushed into responding. They make sure that everything is linear and chronologically ordered by speaking in sequence. Typically, they speak in a straightforward manner and provide lots of specifics and examples to help others comprehend what they are mentally experiencing. An ISFJ wants to convey knowledge that will be helpful to listeners when they speak. They frequently identify with the people they are communicating with and express solidarity by saying things like, I feel that way. When someone speaks to them, they typically respond with a smile and politeness on their faces. To them, it is crucial that the person they are speaking to feels understood. Additionally, they have a propensity to take criticism personally and can get extremely anxious in hostile or argumentative settings. Number 3. ESTJ ESTJs need to digest their thoughts outside of their heads and think aloud. When ESTJs are really only expressing ideas and thoughts to come to their own conclusions, it often sounds as though they are making judgments and asserting facts. They enjoy hearing how others react to their views and ideas because it inspires them to come to their own conclusions. If they are alone, they frequently chat to themselves. When speaking, ESTJs sound accurate, realistic, and assured. They have a good memory for specifics and tend to contrast the current with the past to determine whether something is reliable or inconsistent. They don't frequently switch topics unless there is a logical relationship. And because they detest sugarcoating and strongly believe in being as honest and clear as possible, they can come out as tactless, particularly when they are young. Because they like to compete, ESTJs frequently take pleasure in pleasant discussions because it gives them a chance to speak their minds and engage in dialogue with others. When they are forthright, people could perceive them as being domineering or judgmental since they have a tendency to come across as opinionated in their values. If you are enjoying our content, please give this video a like, subscribe to our channel, and do not forget to turn on the notification bell. Number 4. ESFJ ESFJs want to understand the other person's perspective and establish a rapport. They are exceedingly selective in their word choice and timing since maintaining interpersonal harmony is their top goal. These people are generally good at being politically correct and don't want to offend anyone. 
They are adept at looking after the group, making introductions, and making sure everyone is at ease. If it will make someone feel more at ease, they will even make fun of themselves. By comparing similar experiences and saying things like, I hear you, they can relate to others and ensure that they don't feel alone. And because ESFJs are adept at detecting the emotional climate of the space they are in, they will attempt to resolve conflicts as quickly as feasible. Some people may find this irritating because they like pleasant debate or disagreement but aren't actually engaged in a fight. ESFJs tend to move group processes toward completion, and their social interactions typically follow a schedule. They are mindful of the proper lengths of time to stay during a social interaction since they don't want to obstruct anyone else's time. They are punctual with their arrival and departure and pay attention to when others appear drained, preoccupied, or busy. Furthermore, they frequently avoid talks that could offend others or incite rivalry as well as in-depth technical discussions. Number 5. INFJ INFJs frequently use metaphors and symbols in their speech to communicate their meaning. Future visions, insights, forecasts, and prospects are their favorite conversational subjects. They typically try to build a rapport with the person they are speaking with and are friendly and sympathetic. They will make an effort to communicate with them on the same page by using phrases like, I totally understand. They typically have good manners and are courteous. The social grace and friendliness of INFJs might alternate with their tendency to be enigmatic and evasive in their discourse. They use extroverted feeling while building relationships with other people, and as they attempt to communicate their deeper insights and future visions, INFJs may come out as hesitant or rambling. Because they are frequently misinterpreted and the language they must use is so complex and perplexing to listeners, they can be reluctant to talk. INFJs are quick to notice when their audience is uninterested or perplexed by what they are saying, and they frequently return to other issues as a result. If they don't have someone who can relate to their more exciting discoveries and follow through with their more conceptual line of thinking, this might be a little upsetting for them. INFJs may experience discomfort in interactions that are extremely negative or critical. They enjoy peaceful interactions and can be so preoccupied with how the criticism or disagreement will affect everyone that they end up having to play the role of mediator or peacemaker or simply withdraw from the conversation. Number 6. INFP when speaking, INFPs frequently exhibit a guarded yet sympathetic disposition. They are very innovative and creative individuals who take pleasure in debating hypothetical prospects and suggestions for the future. They are interested in subjects that revolve around assisting people, animals, or the world in general. They are genuine idealists who take pleasure in dreaming out loud alongside others who have similar aspirations for change. INFPs are highly private about their principles and ideas despite the fact that they are emotionally moved by them. They don't often engage in preaching and they only open out to a select group of people they can trust. They passionately believe in respecting each other's uniqueness and dislike telling others how they should conduct their life. However, they have the ability to quickly grow passionate or go absolutely silent, deciding to end the debate if one of their essential beliefs is insulted or violated. INFPs are generally kind and humble people. They dislike being forced into awkward situations and are rarely comfortable in the spotlight. Now, this doesn't imply that they are naturally reserved. In fact, most of the time, they would rather speak in private one-on-one -on -one settings than in front of big audiences. Number 7. ENFJ Extremely friendly, diplomatic, and engaging communication style characterizes ENFJs. They favor in-depth debates, especially when they involve theories, the future, or the interests and wants of individuals. They can sense the emotions and moods of the people they are with immediately and adjust their discourse accordingly. They respond to others' emotions and body language so fast that the listener might not even be aware of how swiftly and skillfully they are adjusting the discourse to meet the requirements of everyone involved. Nobody should feel excluded, perplexed, or bored according to them. 
ENFJs have a strong sense of moral purpose and have a strong ability to persuade others to share their ideals. They frequently exhibit enthusiasm and inspiration when expressing their views and beliefs, and although ENFJs are renowned for their outstanding communication abilities, at times they can be difficult for more intuitive types to comprehend. This is due to the fact that while they explain their ideas, they may lean toward metaphors and the use of abstract words, or they may skip ahead in time so much that the audience loses interest. Situations that need a lot of impersonal, technical analysis or environments that are very critical can make ENFJs feel uncomfortable. Number 8. ENFP Conversations with ENFPs tend to be animated and inspiring in a contagious way. They take pleasure in thinking of and debating various future possibilities. They enjoy discussing issues that promote self-improvement, world improvement, or challenging conventional wisdom. They frequently switch between concepts, which might be confusing for those trying to follow them. They can instantly make innovative connections between disparate pieces of information and have a very imaginative train of mind. They could assume that other people will see these links right away and briefly bring them up in conversation, only to be met with puzzled looks. ENFPs frequently present as friendly and sympathetic, and even so, unless they are quite close with someone and have developed trust, they tend to keep their personal lives and sentiments to themselves. They want to motivate others and show them new paths for creativity, but they don't want to immediately discuss their personal lives and will become upset if they are forced to. ENFPs sometimes find themselves getting bored in conversations that focus on small talk or have too many detailed facts. They are far more preoccupied with ideas than everyday events, and they are more concerned with the future than with the here and now. Number 9. ISTP when speaking, ISTPs frequently come across as being very succinct, accurate, and straightforward. They conduct all of their analysis inside, therefore they rarely speak aloud about their ideas. But once they have reached a fully formed judgment, you will hear it. They digest everything on their own and in privacy, so they are less inclined to ramble on about dubious concepts or hypotheses. They are very specific and precise about their terminology and wording, and they frequently hesitate while speaking to find the perfect word. Because they are so cognizant of what is true, what is factual, and the accuracy of their own reasoning, ISTPs may come off as opinionated. They feel there is no more to discuss or argue because they have carefully considered their decision and verified the information. They are typically quite adept at recognizing the advantages and disadvantages of arguments, real-world situations, and specific sensory information. When asked to convey more refined feelings or emotions, ISTPs frequently feel uncomfortable. Number 10. ISFP ISFPs come across as easygoing, sympathetic, and open-minded. They have very strong morals, but unless they are quite close to someone and have developed a high level of trust, they usually keep them to themselves. They make an effort to appreciate each person's uniqueness and dislike evangelizing to or imposing their opinions on other people. An ISFP may simply get up and leave if their values are mocked or diminished in any manner, or they may suddenly become more active and emotional in their tone of voice as they advocate for their principles. Others are frequently surprised by this because they typically strike others as quiet and restrained. They periodically interrupt a discussion to reflect on the emotional impact of what is being said and the degree of the other person's honesty. In circumstances where there is controversy or debate, ISFPs may feel uncomfortable. They also detest being the focus of attention or being put on the spot by others. Number 11. ESTP In conversation, ESTPs come across as amiable and animated adding emphasis to their statements with energetic gestures and expressive faces. 
Their quick wit and cheery demeanor are infectious. They typically have a sharp sense of humor and can respond to just about any comment with a quick wit. They typically excel at using narrative to interact with those around them and elicit smiles or laughs. They also quickly catch up on the surrounding individual's body language and habits. ESTPs want to share their experiences with others more than anything else. And when they do speak, they like exchanging anecdotes, helpful advice, personal experiences, and tales of their exploits since they are more focused on action than words. Number 12. ESFP In conversation, ESFPs come across as friendly and animated, combining their physical appeal and vitality with a gentle and understanding approach. They typically exude a buzz of energy, and their discourse frequently incorporates physical gestures and mannerisms. They frequently use an engaging and energetic tone. They frequently speak in the present tense because they believe that the future is unpredictable and ever-changing. They are skilled at adapting their narrative to the needs and listening time of the audience. They can read a person's body language and mannerisms well enough to recognize when they are becoming distracted or bored, so they can know when to end a narrative or change it up to make it more engaging. They are very true and genuine people, and they won't do anything that comes off as fake or insincere. Number 13. INTJ When describing things, INTJs frequently use metaphors and symbols in their speech. They appreciate talking with people about the meanings, ramifications, and future visions because the future is their preferred area of emphasis. As they attempt to communicate their thoughts, they frequently fluctuate between speaking slowly to being extremely wordy and passionate. Because of how abstract and enigmatic their perceptions are and how little of the tangible, concrete information that others are used to hearing, their thoughts are extremely challenging to put into words. However, because INTJs mix their intuition with their thought process, they can have exceptionally great communication skills. They frequently astonish others with their superior capacity to plan ahead and think of logical, long-term solutions to issues faster than almost any other kind. As intuitives, INTJs have a propensity to anticipate the future and make predictions so far in the future that they lose their listeners in the process. INTJs are frequently able to speak about their insights more openly in the company of fellow intuitives. They come across as being very blunt, analytical, and preoccupied with logical correctness when in this state. Sometimes they can come out as harsh or undiplomatic, as if they don't care about what other people think. They frequently have a strong sense of self-assurance and analytical certainty. When INTJs are forced to talk about their emotions and more subtle feelings, they may feel uncomfortable because they typically keep their personal emotions and values very private and only feel comfortable speaking about them with individuals they have developed a high level of trust with. Number 14. INTP INTPs design innovative ideas and systems. They appreciate theory and abstract concepts and prefer them to practical implementations. They respect accuracy, expertise, and competence and are future-focused. INTPs typically favor careers in technical sectors where they may apply logic to ideas to come up with creative solutions and new systems. They favor professionalism over creativity, individuality, and improvisation in the workplace. Professions in informatics, economy, or data analysis would be ideal for INTPs. Before speaking, INTPs require time to stop and reflect. Because the majority of their mental processes are internalized, they don't frequently think out loud. When they finally decide to speak, they've usually been deliberating the idea internally for some time before determining it's true and worthwhile to say. They frequently hesitate to find just the appropriate word to use to match the context of what they are saying. They strive to be as accurate as they can with their words. A black and white approach to a topic is rarely, if ever, taken by INTPs who genuinely love logical examination. They constantly classify data into progressively more specific subjects. 
They may appear withdrawn and perhaps bored as a result, but what they're really doing is trying to decide which category to put the new knowledge they're learning from the conversation and how that information combines with the rest of the data they have stashed away. Also, INTPs take a while to commit to a course of action. They may appear hesitant or wary because they want to consider all options and possibilities. This is especially true if they are under pressure to make a decision. As INTPs consider options and possibilities, they could find it difficult to decide because there are always new options and possibilities to consider. When asked to describe their emotions and feelings by someone they don't know well, INTPs find it difficult to do so. Additionally, they detest being under time constraints while making decisions about anything. Number 15. ENTJ In their discourse, ENTJs come across as assured, professional, and visionary. When they are really only expressing ideas and thoughts in an effort to draw conclusions, they may appear to be making absolute judgments. They take pleasure in expressing their opinions, and they particularly like engaging in critical discussion and back-and-forth feedback. They could take pleasure in disputing or discussing to arrive at a decision or to verify their own beliefs and thoughts. Many ENTJs use self-talk as a technique to organize their thoughts, and because their thoughts sometimes stray into the metaphorical or abstract, ENTJs can occasionally be difficult for other kinds to understand. They could veer off into different eras or make forecasts that are so far off the mark that it confuses the listeners. Their thoughts may seem random and disjointed since they may switch topics so quickly, but there is usually a connection between them and is typically connected to a long-term vision or purpose. Typically, they have a clear focus and are confident in their own vision for the future, but when talking about their sentiments and emotions, ENTJs may feel awkward. Usually, they keep their feelings to themselves or disregard them completely. But this often becomes less of an issue over time as ENTJs get older. Number 16. ENTP Conversations amongst ENTPs tend to be creative, energizing, and logical. They appreciate having brainstorming sessions and generating ideas that spark conversation and open up new avenues for thought. Generally speaking, they like to talk about their ideas' broad implications and big-picture consequences rather than the specifics of the idea. They may move from one idea to another in a way that appears random and incomprehensible to some listeners because they instantly recognize connections and patterns while they are speaking. They could briefly mention one topic before moving on to another, confusing others who were looking for more information or something in particular. They enjoy breaking things down, classifying them, and figuring out how they fit into the bigger picture. They love to make original connections between concepts and information they observe in the outside world. They believe that everything is interconnected and significant overall. A heated argument usually appeals to ENTPs. They like the process of uncovering the truth about a situation. However, they don't maintain their positions in the face of contradictory facts. When presented with better, more accurate information, they frequently show a willingness to change their minds. ENTPs frequently find themselves disinterested in interactions that focus on banal small talk. They prefer to concentrate on long-term objectives and find daily worries to be restrictive. These videos will be really helpful for you.